Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to move from the equation of a circle in expanded form, uh, from general form, and write it in expanded form, okay? So I'm going to show you how we do that. Now, a few things we need to know, okay, this here that I'm circling right now, okay, this is the general form of the equation of a circle, okay? We have x take a squared plus y take b squared is equal to r squared, okay? And over here we've written our key, a comma b, or the coordinates a and b are the center of the circle, and r is the radius. The other thing we need to be familiar with is our perfect square rule here, okay? Now there's just two slight variations of it. The first one where we've got x take a squared is x squared take 2ax plus a squared. All this is saying is that if if you expand it out, x take a, like this, x take a times x take a, okay, this is the solution you would get here, okay? You can check that if you don't trust me. All right, and the same there, the only variation being the plus in the middle, okay? It gives you a different perfect square. All right, that's a cool rule that you need to know for when we're talking about circles, okay? So our question here then is to find the equation of a circle with centre 2, 3 and a radius of 5 in expanded form. Okay, and I'll explain what the in expanded form means in a moment. But first, all we're doing is we're recognising that these are our coordinates, that's the centre, A and B. So we just have to put those values into this equation with radius 5. Then we'll expand it. Okay, so the equation of our circle then is going to be x take 2 squared plus y take 3 squared, and that's equal to r squared, where r is 5. Okay, so let's expand these out according to the perfect square rule. We can see that that, this factor here, x take 2 squared, is of the same form as this one here, x take a squared, just where a is substituted for 2. So everywhere we see an a in there, we can substitute a 2, and this formula will exist for this form. We can do exactly the same with y, okay, only instead of x we've got y, and instead of a we've got 3. So let's expand both of those using the perfect square rule. Alright, so we've got x squared take 2 times a, which is 2, times x. And then we've got plus 2 squared, okay, or plus a squared. Uh, then we've got the y, okay, I'm going to put that in a bracket by itself so we know that's for the first factor, okay, and now the y. We're going to have y squared take 2 times a, in this case is 3, and then times y, plus y, uh, sorry, plus 3 squared. Okay, uh, and we'll close that bracket. And that's equal to 5 squared, which is just 25. Okay, so let's see, oh, simplify this. So we've got x squared, 2 times 2 is 4. So we've got x squared, take 4x plus 4. Uh, and then for the y factor, we've got plus y squared, take 2 times 3 is 6y, plus 3 squared is 9. Okay, and that's equal to 25. Now, to write in the expanded form, what we want to do is write it like this. Okay, we want to have x squared plus y squared, take 4x, take 6y. Okay, all I've done here is rearranged these at the place where the x and y were. And then we just want to collate all of these numbers. So we've got plus 4 plus 9, okay, and we want to move this 25 over this side to make this equal to 0. So the way we do that is we take 25 from both sides, take 25, okay, so that cancels, this side becomes 0, and over here we've got 4 plus 9 is 13, take 25, 13 take 25 is minus 12, okay, and that is equal to 0. Now this is the general form for a circle, uh, an expanded circle, the general form of an expanded circle. So let me write this out for you in red. It is x squared plus y squared 
take big A, X, take B, big B, Y, take C equals zero. Okay, and you see how these numbers correspond with these values. This is just the general form. Now, the reason we learn this, okay, is so that basically we're going to learn to work forwards so we can work backwards. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly why in the next video. What we've done here is started with the equation of a circle, we're given a center and a radius, and we've just expanded that out to be in expanded form as listed here. Okay. So that would be the answer to this question. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can use this information to work backwards.